Find the volume and total surface area of a hollow cylinder of height 15 cm and the interior and exterior radii of the circular base equal to 8 and 10 cm. Let's sketch the cylinder. I call the interior radius by small r and the exterior radius by capital R and the height by h. To find the volume, I find the total volume, which is the volume of a cylinder, and I subtract the volume of the cylindrical hollow inside the original cylinder. The volume therefore becomes pi capital R squared times H which is the volume of the original cylinder which we assume not to be hollow minus pi small r squared H which is the volume of the hollow inside the cylinder. This will give us the volume of the hollow cylinder. I can write this as pi h r squared minus small r squared. I can plug in the values that I have. That would give me pi times 15 times 10 squared minus 8 squared and this is equal to 540 pi which is approximately 5330 centimeters cubed. Let's now calculate the surface area. We note that the surface area, I show it by S, is the sum of four different area. One is the exterior area around the cylinder. I show that by S E. E is standing for exterior or external. Then there is the interior surface area inside the cylinder and I show that by S I and then there is the surface area of the top which I show by S T and then this is the surface area of the bottom which I show by S B. If I can calculate any of these and add them all then I can get the total surface area. Now, let's imagine a very thin cylindrical shell. The thickness we assume to be very, very small compared to the radius. We can use a scissor and cut this cylindrical shell, let's say, along this line and open up the cylindrical shell. We would get a rectangle. The circumference here becomes the length of this rectangle and the height becomes the width. The circumference is 2 pi r where r is the radius. And 
the height h becomes the width. The surface area, in this case, I'll show it by s, is equal to 2 pi r, which is the circumference of the top or bottom, times h, which is the height. We're going to use this formula to find the surface area of inside and outside of the cylinder. Let's go back, therefore, to our problem. S will become the surface area, SE, the surface area of outside of the cylinder. That would be 2 pi r times h. 2 pi r is the circumference of the greater circle on the top plus 2 pi small r times h where r is the radius of the smaller circle at the base. The surface area of the top and bottom are the same so I am going to use a factor of 2 and then either of them is equal to pi capital R squared which is the surface area of the greater circle on the top minus pi r squared which is the surface area of the smaller circle on the top. I have all of the parameters here as numbers r, small r, and h. Therefore, I can calculate this to find the total surface area. It becomes 2 pi, which I can factor from all of the expression, times r plus r times h plus capital R squared minus small r squared. I have just rearranged the terms. Now I plug in the values. This becomes 2 pi times 10 plus 8 times 15 plus 10 squared minus 8 squared. This is equal to 612 pi, which is approximately 1923 centimeters squared.